Well, last Thursday, President Joe Biden delivered his third State of the Union address, president covering a wide array of topics. One of them was the Belvedere Assembly plant. Some local representatives were there to hear it firsthand. Blake Dietz spoke with one of them today. Blake, what was his experience? That's right, Mimi. Both are members of the United Auto Workers Local 1268 here in Belvedere. Their president tells me the experience was a celebration of accomplishment. The folks of Belvedere, I say, instead of your town being left behind, your community is moving forward again. Belvedere was once again in the national spotlight as President Joe Biden highlighted the UAW contract that will lead to the reopening of the Belvedere assembly plant. The great comeback story is Belvedere, Illinois, home to an auto plant for nearly 60 years. Two members of the United Auto Workers Local 1268, President Matt Franson and Don Sims, were invited to Washington, D.C. Sims was a guest of First Lady Jill Biden, while Franson was with Belvedere Area Congressman Bill Foster. I've watched several of them on TV, and it was, you know, I, I've said it. I didn't think I'd ever go to it, but uh, being there, seeing the process, seeing how it works, and uh, just listening to the president's speech, I, th I think he did a good job. Franson says their presence there is a great way to commemorate all of the UAW's accomplishments since the plant was idled over a year ago. To have the opportunity to attend the State of the Union, that was, uh, that was the icing on the cake as far as all the work that's been done to hear, you know, save small town America. So it was, it was exciting. And he believes the experience emphasizes the importance of working with government for anyone. You have to use your representatives. And, uh, they need to see it. I mean, what they care about the vote, votes that they can get. They're going to get the votes if they're creating jobs and the opportunity for, you know, the working class or, or anybody really. Franson added he hopes Belvedere can be an example to workers in other cities to never give up pushing for better jobs. David.